all right guys welcome back to another video so in today's video we will be talking about the soundness airdrop okay so basically this is basically what you need to do now i'm currently on the soundness um discord and um yeah i'll actually be showing you guys what you need to know how to get started and everything you need to do now first of all i'll be showing you guys the roles i have i actually have some roles and they are very important right you can see sound og zp and uh, onboarded now you need onboarded role to be able to actually participate in this particular test net now the zp role will be allocated to you or any role there are about four to five of them right so it is actually turn by turn now um i will show you guys as well what you need to do or how you actually need to get started with this particular test net all right so now you can see game zone if they have not yet opened up the game zone section for you or you will not be able to access the game zone i don't know if you understand only those with the uh, roles will be able to access the game zone and it's actually turn by turn so yeah let's let's actually talk about the main thing right here which is this bot okay this is the it's sound game now you actually need to assess this bot send a message to this bot to activate it first of all right now you might actually experience some issues like delay in receiving a uh, message reply or response from this bot i know it's gonna stop all you need to do is just be patient enough and you're going to get the response you need now you can see right there i replied and i sent a message and i performed some tasks already so i'll show you guys what i'm talking about you go to the game arena all right now i've actually played this game already you can see slash you use this slash eight queens okay that's the command now you see a chess game pop up for you um of which once once a chess game pops up for you i can no longer show you guys what i've already exceeded my game time for the day so you can see slash eight queens you send it in and then you click on launch game all right so once you click on launch game all right you are going to see a lot of things i want to try this out let me see if i can actually uh get one of those codes again all right but um let's say i go to this i think i sent one of those codes to somebody so let me see if i can actually retry this to show you guys what i'm talking about so let's run this and see if, if the game will actually pop up it's actually a chess game okay sorry the game has expired so unfortunately i will not be able to show you guys that but it's a chess game that is easy to play so most of you guys should be able to know it okay it's basically you arranging eight queens okay and yeah arranging eight queens so that they, they won't attack each other all right it's basically you arranging eight queens so that they won't attack each other so let's get straight to the main part of the video which is actually the long part all right so um first of all there is something you need to understand okay please and please pay attention to this so that you not um, miss you not actually mess up this now after completing the game all right you're going to see this okay now you're going to see um generate generate legion proof okay so yeah this is what i'm talking about you can see generate legion proof you click right there now this is when you have actually completed the game the bot will send you a message that you have successfully completed again so i can generate your proof now once you click on generate proof okay you are going to see this initializing all right and after initializing you see something pop up immediately i don't know if you understand so something will just pop up immediately and then you understand what i'm talking about pretty pretty soon so you go straight to this place to actually get started all right now first of all this is what you need to know you need to go to your github github or your github code space all right go to your github code space don't worry i'll put the link and every single link in the description so you can actually start and follow this click on this use this template all the links and every single thing you need will be pasted in the description so don't worry about that okay so this is what you are going to see once you click on use this template you are going to op this is going to open up for you and i'll show you guys what you need to do because the sound nest team actually made a step-by-step -step guide for this so this is the guide and you can actually see the step-by-step -step process now the first thing you need to do you can see ensure you have rust 2 
chain installed so i am going to open the rust tool chain in a new tab so that you guys can actually see what i'm talking about so i'll open it in a new tab i've actually opened that in a new tab it's currently loading so once you actually open it in the new tab the next thing you need to do is simple copy this all right copy this so once you've copied it you go straight to your code space and then you paste it all right uh okay it seems i didn't copy it properly so i'm going to i'm going to copy it now let's see so copy it successfully now you you are going to paste it all right paste it here on the code space and then you run this i already did this so i'll no longer pay, um, run this okay so i'm just trying to show you guys step by step all right so paste it run it now um you go back oh don't worry i'll drop the link don't worry there's nothing for you to stress yourself all right you copy this so once you copy it you actually go back and then you paste it run it as well okay so i did all this i did all of this but i think i will just try to run this so that you guys can actually see what i'm talking about but i actually did all of this already and uh, i feel like it's actually a waste of time i won't lie so um do this step by step you can see step two copy this source all right now the next thing you need to do is paste it as well okay so paste it i'm gonna clean this up right now i didn't copy it the last time so i think i made a mistake so i'm gonna copy this right now sorry so you copy source all right and then you go back to your page to your source to your code space and then you paste it back and once you paste it you click on enter make sure you just tap enter all right for you to actually um impute uh, fill in the inputs right now we have this right here the next which is soundness install you have to install soundness because that is what's going to allow you to uh, access the soundness command line so currently installing once this is done we'll actually go straight to the next part okay now this is soundness install make sure you install this properly okay so um as usual you can actually decide to update um your soundness command line later all right of which that will not be necessary in this particular video uh you can see soundness update you can decide to update it later okay so um with that being said you can clearly see that we have docker installation all right now let me show you guys what i'm talking about so you can see docker installation right here now this is not important so don't worry just leave it and allow it to pass now this is the testnet instruction this is basically where you need to pay more focus and attention now like what i told you guys already you can see step one as get access okay now you must get the onboarded through i already told you guys about this already you must get the onboarded through um either with your invite code or maybe through another method okay of which it was distributed now we have prepare your key make sure you have your key submitted in the soundnet discord all right uh for those of you guys that have the onboarded through you can actually see that you have submitted your key already all right except for those that will be doing this for the first time and if you are doing this for the first time and you don't have a key you need to actually generate your key this video is particularly for people that have actually you know generated their key and have their key already present now some of you might have actually forgotten about your key as well i'm talking about your key name you know the key name is actually different from the public key that is basically what you need to understand okay the key name is different from the public key so people that are new can decide to generate their key choose any name of your choice you can decide to use any name of your choice at all for the key name i don't know if you understand so where you see this right here you can see the step three which is the play play a game and send proof uh we already played the queen game the chess game all right of which uh if you have played it already then you don't have any issue okay now you can actually see um once you have your key 
okay and you have i have one again submit the proof of verification now the key name is very very important okay the key name is very very important now most of you guys have forgotten about your key name just like me so i'll show you guys how you can recover your key name back so you can actually get started with this okay so with that being said we are going to try to see if we can import our key name of which the first thing you need for this key name in uh, importation or for you to actually import your key name is number one your mnemonics all right you need to get your mnemonics guys very important now the name there can be any name at all okay the name there can be any name at all but your mnemonics is very very important your mnemonics is very very i'm talking about the 12 phrase that was given to you is it 12 phrase or 24 phrase i don't know that you actually saved when generating it so it's very important that you get it i'm going to show you guys what i'm talking about so first of all i'll copy this and uh, i'll copy this right here just like this and i'll go to my um notepad now this is my notepad right here i pasted this on my notepad so right here you can see the mnemonics uh section i'm going to clean this up when you clean this up allow the two quotation uh icon there to be present there because you're going to because you're actually going to need it okay now the name here key name all right make sure you clean every single thing all right clean every single thing and type any name of your choice for example you have mike i'm just going to write mike there okay now just write the name that you generated the key name you generated for those of you that are starting you and for those of you guys that, that lost your key name just write any name there now the mnemonics you can just use like i'm talking of your 12 phrase or 24 phrase please do not reveal it to anybody i'm just trying to formulate some uh, mnemonics right here okay but i will not actually do this but it's just basically words so impute them in that particular quotation uh mark section okay just actually impute it right there so with that being said right here we have this once you have imputed it you are going to see imported key name and public key you are going to see your imported key name and public key all right present there so if it is successful that is what you are going to see your new pub your new uh, key name will be present with your um public key so that's basically what you need to know okay so i've said this already just try to copy this particular um command edit it and then fill in the respective details there i'll actually show you guys mine when i have actually completed it because i am currently going to show you guys how it will look like okay so for now just try to edit it and yeah it's pretty simple and straightforward now right here you can see listing key pairs okay i will try to see if i can show you what i'm talking about now right here this is mine okay now you can see my imported name okay you can see soundness soundness list keys right now you can see my imported name and everything right there public key and the rest currently present after running the soundness command line interface list key um command i can you can actually see that mine is showing clearly there so for those of you guys that don't understand what i'm talking about you can actually see what i'm talking about you can see the name and the public key currently present the key name and the public key so this is what i'm talking about now once you are done creating this you have to take note of something very very important okay and i'll show you guys what i'm talking about right now now you go up there click right there you're going to see key store.json okay make sure you download it please very very important because if you don't download it it will not work for you so make sure you download it into your pc and save it properly okay very important guys save it properly now with that being said once you have downloaded it we can now get started to the main point of the video which is running the proof so um after the game your game generated a proof already for you so all you need to do is simple go straight and copy it so i'm going to actually copy this right now so um, copy now once you have copied this you go to your text document again all right once you go to your text document your notepad any text uh, editor any text editor you have so you go to your notepad 
and then you edit the name okay so you are going to edit the key name so i'm going to show you guys what i'm talking about so you can actually see right here edit the key name put your key name there all right put your key name there copy it all right go straight to your code space and then you paste it there okay so if you have copied everything and you have edited it on your notepad or your text editor uh any text editor you are using copy it and then you run this impute your secret code so you just impute your secret key so once you have imputed a secret key you're gonna see sources okay so it has actually been generated successfully without any issue at all all right and it's pretty simple and straightforward so you can see successful 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 so this is basically what they are telling you to do all right so once you have generated this you can now see you have actually completed the proof on the soundness command line interface all right so um this video was recorded and i discovered that i did not actually add any voice to it i had to do a live commentary for this particular video all right so it's really simple and straightforward do not forget to follow me for more videos like this guys have a nice and lovely day ahead